Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel and I can't really believe that I'm saying this right now, but welcome to my Porsche 944. If you're new to this channel, thanks for stopping by. I'm Dom, Amazing Car Switzerland. And if you're a regular subscriber, thanks for still being here because the next chapter on this channel is going to be epic. Now we're going to take the car out for a first drive today and I'm not gonna lie, this is actually my first drive as well because it's been pouring down for the past two weeks and I'm currently having my final exams at university. So uh, I'm kind of nervous as well to drive this for the first time. Well, I drove it when I picked it up a couple of days ago, but other than that, this is the first time driving it. So I'm on an 18 millimeter lens right now, but as you can tell, the lens is quite close to me. That is because the car actually isn't that big at all. So how to start it out? We're going to get the ignition on, open the door for a sec, and then we have to kick the throttle pedal two, three times. So we have fuel going through the lines and then start it up. First time starting up, perfect. Get first gear in and gonna get my sunnies out. It's a really bright day today, so I really hope that it's gonna look good with the lens and everything. But figure it out, first gear in. Let's get going. So before we're gonna properly drive, I have a 944 Targa. This means we have a roof that we can fully take off if we want. We also can electrically open the rear part of the roof and we can also open this uh, to get some air coming in and then we're good to go. Ah, uh, still forgetting this car is quite old. So manually open the classic pop-up lights in the front, such a cool thing. So this is, okay, this, this is quite amazing to be driving right now. Might need a second to take this in. But yeah, as you can already hear from the first meters driving, the car is just so raw. And to be honest, I'm not entirely sure if you're able to properly hear me as the vibrations in this are quite a thing but I do hope that it's all right. Now, what is going on? Why am I driving a 944? So, a couple months or weeks ago, I listed my S3 Sportback online and I got quite a few requests on it. And I was basically able to sell it within a couple of days. And also a couple months back, um, I made a joke um, to my body saying that if I'm able to sell the S3, I might get a Porsche 944 and after looking for one for about four or five months I finally found the ideal car because I had some points and some specs that I really wanted to have on my 944. This is the color in India Red which looks so stunning together with the black wheels or the black silver contrasting wheels and then other things, manual gearbox, five-speed manual gearbox, the Targa roof. So this is almost my dream spec, but obviously it's quite hard to find the ideal spec, a car that isn't produced anymore. So what is it? It's a Porsche 944 S1, so the first generation of the 944. Uh, 2.5 liter, naturally aspirated producing 163 horsepower, but it's not about the power with this car. It's about the driving experience and just, you know, just the nostalgia that is with this car. But the car is only 1200 kilograms, so it does have quite a nice acceleration and performance, obviously, when 30 you now. <laughs> this is so good. Um, but yeah, so five-speed manual gearbox, really cool really nice now one of the main reasons why i went for a porsche was because my dad used to own a 96 carrera convertible and there are no 
photos of the car in existence, unfortunately. But he told me lots about the spec that he had. And so last year I made him a present and I had him his car rebuilt as a scale model, which I'm going to show right now so you can see what kind of car he used to own. And since then I've always loved Porsches and I've always really loved the designs of this car and the sculptures and specifically of the 94 as it just doesn't look like a sort of regular standard 911 as it just has such a different sculpture and that's something that really always interested me and of course with the pop-up lights which actually is one of the coolest things ever now as already mentioned nostalgia is a big point of owning a classic Porsche this car is from 1983 so it effectively is 37 years old <laughs> just the fact of that is cool itself but then, for example, when you're filling up your car, you always have people coming over, starting conversations with you, um, telling how they used to own a 944 themselves, or they know someone who owned one. So, just, just the feeling of owning a car like this is so cool in itself. Now I'm gonna give you a proper review of this car and its history. It does have quite a cool history. Some other day, maybe, next week or in two weeks as right now I have a moment of silence in my exam period and just wanted to use this to take it for a first drive as the weather is really nice and I can't wait to tell you what's going to happen with the car and everything and what's going to unfold on the channel of Amazing Cross Switzerland over the next couple of months I can only tell you that I'm going to make this car the way I want it to look. <laughs> I'd love to tell you right now, but there's lots and lots going to happen. And not only that, I'm still going to continue with my reviews, of course. This is just going to be a side project. But yeah, to the other thing that I just mentioned with my car reviews, there's going to be some amazing stuff that's about to happen on this channel. And with a certain brand, there's going to be a certain video filmed that I think, as far as I know, hasn't been shown on YouTube ever. So it's going to be a first and I can't wait to film that. It's going to happen sometime in July and I have lots of other meetings planned as well. So the next couple of months are going to be quite busy, but I can't wait to share with you everything that's going to be happen. And as a center of everything, we're going to use my Porsche 944. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you like my new car as much as I do and I'll see you next time.